Calling all thrill seekers and mythology buffs, are you ready to delve into the darkest corners of Greek legend? Can you guess which beast takes first place? Coming in at 10, Scylla and Charybdis. Imagine sailing the open ocean, then bam, you're stuck between a rock and a, well, rock and monster. That's the lovely predicament Odysseus faced with Scylla and Charybdis. Charybdis, a giant whirlpool hungry enough to suck down mountains, lurked on one side. On the other, Scylla, a multi-headed Hydra octopus monstrosity, snatched sailors from passing ships. Talk about a no-win scenario. Number 9. The Sirens Don't Be Fooled By Their Beauty These enchanting songbirds lured sailors to their doom with irresistible melodies. Drawn in by promises of pleasure and knowledge, sailors would steer their ships straight onto jagged rocks, meeting a watery end. Think of them as the original femme fatales with feathered friends. Number 8. The Minotaur The Minotaur, a hulking brute with man's torso fused to a bull's monstrous head, rampaged within the labyrinth's shadowed maze. Its echoing bellows, a guttural mix of roar and snort, shook the very stones as it lurched through twisting corridors. Number 7. Cerberus Guarding the gates of the underworld, Cerberus was no ordinary pooch. This three-headed hellhound had razor-sharp fangs, venomous breath, and a mane of snakes. Forget belly rubs with this guy. One wrong move and you're a chew toy for eternity. Number 6. The Sphinx Not the bee confused with its Egyptian cousin, the Greek Sphinx had murderous intent. This lion-bird-woman combo posed riddles to travelers, devouring those who couldn't answer. Oedipus outsmarted her, but most weren't so lucky. One wrong guess, and you became Sphinx Kibble. Number 5. The Chimera Its fiery breath, a weapon borrowed from the depths of hell, could melt stone and turn men to ash in an instant. Its goat head, though seemingly less menacing, housed a deadly bite, and the stench of its unkempt beard could drive even the bravest to their knees. And then there was the serpent tail, a writhing mass of scales and fangs that moved with a lightning-fast strike, ready to ensnare and crush any unfortunate soul within its coils. Number 4. Medusa One look and you're a statue. That's Medusa's party trick. This snake-haired gorgon turned countless heroes to stone with her deadly gaze. Perseus, armed with a reflective shield, was the only one brave or foolish enough to face her and chop off her head. Number 3. The Hydra This multi-headed serpent had an uncanny ability to regrow two heads for everyone severed, and its blood was said to be lethally poisonous. Heracles, the mighty hero, finally overcame the Hydra by cauterizing the wounds with fire, preventing any new heads from sprouting. Number 2. Typhon. Imagine a hurricane on steroids, infused with the wrath of a thousand scorpions and the fire of a thousand suns. That's Typhon, the father of monsters. Even the Olympian gods feared this colossal beast. Zeus himself had to trap him under Mount Etna to keep him contained. Now, whenever a volcano erupts, that's not just molten rock spewing forth. It's Typhon's fiery rage, number one. The Arenes forget fire-breathing dragons and monstrous hydras. The Arenes, also known as the Furies, were a different kind of terror. These vengeful goddesses weren't just fearsome, they were terrifyingly relentless. They drove their targets to the brink of madness with visions of their crimes, their whispers echoing in the darkest corners of the mind. Sleep offered no solace, for the Irenes haunted even dreams, their nightmares a living testament to the consequences of unchecked evil.